What do you guys think of my style tonight? Got my cap on, and my bow tie, and the awesome sideburns. I'm all the classy. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to day four of Vita. My name, of course, is Artemis, and today has been a long day. So I think I'm just going to go over that and how I'm only getting around to recording this at 11 p.m. So, story off my day as usual, waking up at 5 a.m. so that the dog can go pee and do his thing before I head out to work. So, I took this opportunity to try and prime my colossal model for the Journeyman League for War Machine that we're having up at the local uh, event, game event store, Black Knight Games. And I started having problems with my airbrush. Uh, this one right here. This is my Iwata Eclipse HPCS. Great workhorse airbrush. This last to me five and a half years of solid abuse. It'll be getting abused no longer. It is pretty much done. I can get fine sprays out of it all the time, but it's supposed to be a workhorse. I'm supposed to be using it for priming, base coating. I need its full functionality. So I'll need to replace that soon. Yeah, another thing to add to the list. What I was using instead is this here. This is the Badger Sotar 2020. This airbrush alone costs $400. American. It is not inexpensive. Now, I didn't spend that much. My father bought it for me for Christmas. He didn't spend that much either. I found it on sale on Amazon told him, hey, this, this here, this, this. So anyone who airbrushes, who could use a fine detail brush, can't get much better than that, and it goes on sale on Amazon frequently. Typically, you're going to find it on sale more on Amazon.com than .ca. So, Depending upon how you're looking at the Canadian dollar, it might not be worth it to you, but it's definitely something to keep and watch out for. So, left for work, and work was a day of busy work. Not doing my actual job. Now, mind you, I have no trouble doing my actual job. I don't mind my job. I often days like it. I can get a nice pattern going, get into the groove, just lose track of the day. Today was a case of... Whatever the work got around to me, it was just taking off caps, cutting metal cording, just cleaning off grease, and trying to do that for eight hours. It, it was not a fun day. I get home, write this off, finish up the base coat on my Colossal, and this is where things start to get a little better. Uh, my buddy Ian up at Black Knight, he's... Uh, actually an HSR driver, so you guys may see him on occasion. He gave me a ride up to the store. Now, I asked him because I was really not feeling the bus ride. I wanted to get up there and get some games in, so I said to him, hey man, come pick me up. I'll offer some food. But he picked me up. He dropped me off. We got two good games in. The second one was much closer. I haven't had a victory yet in Mark III, I don't think. Not that I mind. I'm, I'm having fun learning the game. It's not my preferred game, but it's a fun game. Though I did get to speak with someone who is highly regarded in my preferred game. Uh, for anyone who plays Infinity, you may know the name Captain Spud. Particularly if you've listened to the MayaCast podcast, they talk about CaptainSpud.com and his hacking program tracker on there. He's actually local here in Hamilton, so it was nice to finally put a face to a name where I've been harassing him on and off for a little bit now. And that's actually something else that I learned tonight that I was really surprised about. When it comes to the War Machine and the Hordes communities, Southern Ontario is actually one of the most competitive metas in the world. That just kind of blew me away. Like, I don't know where exactly it comes from. I can't fathom why, and I'd certainly love to hear from anyone in the community who might have some outlook on this. But it was just quite the astounding thing to discover about my area. It's really impressive just to how much of a focus there is on this kind of hobby gaming in Southern Ontario. We have Ash Barker of Guerrilla Miniatures Games, formerly of MiniWarGaming.com, which, guys at Mini Wargaming, I don't know if you're just choosing to focus on one thing, but I'm not so down with your programming anymore. I mean, obviously, it's entirely your choice, and I'm not saying don't do things that don't make you happy, or do things that don't make you happy. I'm just wondering why the change. So, but... Here in Southern Ontario, we have quite the healthy gaming community, especially on the tabletop. So when it comes to hobby gaming, it, Southern Ontario is certainly one of the best places to be. You're going to find no end of people into it. You're going to find countless people who are going to be there to discuss it with you and engage with you. I mean, there are far worse places that you could be in to try and get a start. 
So that's all I've really got to say about today. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll have an actual topic and be able to get this up before I would typically be in bed. I'll see you all tomorrow.